I grew up in Bucharest and um, you know, it's uh, my childhood was uh, during the communism. Um, but uh, you know, I I have a pretty reasonable life. I enjoyed it as a child being in Romania. I picked the STEM high school, and then in the high school, I was doing quite a bit, you know, like uh, physics, you know, going to competitions and math and uh, Olympiads and things like that. So actually. At the end of the high school, before going to college, I never, I always like kind of challenges. So I went to this kind of, uh, it was the computer science equivalent at that time in Romania to the college. I really was fascinated by, of course, computers, what you could do with them. And even at that early stage, reading books. And I like that you can, it's almost like the possibilities are unbounded about what you can do. So I think that, uh, of course, is that uh, been collaborating with Raluca was uh, driving uh, this uh, the project like MC uh, two and uh, opaque and things like that back then. And uh, I think for me, what uh, was uh, interesting and what I, I thought it's important to address, uh, I thought it was a pretty fundamental problem. This is what you have, right? So you have two things. One, you have more and more uh, security regulations for good reasons, and people being more conscious about the privacy of their data. And on the other hand, you have the, this, this more and more desire, you know, to to get more and more data, to get more and more value, right? So this kind of divergent trends. So you need to breathe, right? So. Now, that's exactly what Raluca's work has done, you know, because the solution, the obvious solution is that I want to do all this kind of, to analyze the data like I could do before and even more data, but do so without compromising confidentiality and privacy, right? And that's basically computing, doing analytics on private data. So that's kind of, and you know, when you look at this and you see these kind of trends and secular trends, which are going to create uh, gaps or frictions, uh, I think that's always a good opportunity um, to do something to solve that friction, to bridge that gap. So that's why I think that, again, that a solution like opaque, you know, like, computing, doing all this computation on confidential data without revealing the data and kept giving strong properties about any kind of or either precluding or bounding the kind of leakage from this data. It's a very general and very powerful solution, right? Because you, are, you can apply in almost every of every these cases. You can better results and more secure results. Uh, Win-win all around.